the 19 boys, W6500, Take Re final. Lane number one, Topo Nuya Tia. Lane number two, Hairaki Plains College. Lane number three, Manutuki School. Lane number four, Wellington. Lane number five, Puke Kohe. Lane number six, the Kurakapa Maori Waira Rapa. Lane number seven, Whanganui City College. Lane number eight, Mount Maunganui College. Ki te toi te whakapātai nei, te reihi nei. Um, Kei te poto o tā rātou hoi, uh, e piki ai te waka, uh, e rere pai ai te wai. Hoi anō kia tai atu rātou ki te hurihanga, ka ki te kō ai kā hua, kō ai kā tohu. Uh, e kore ngā tīma e tuohu, ko rātou katoa i pira ngana kia waki torea i te rehi nei. Lei number four, Wellington High School, Taraika. Lei number five he, Pukekoe High School. Yes, this is the Te Takere Division, the Plate Division. As they make their way through in the final, as they make their way through to the turn. After this turn, and once you aim your waka back to where you've just come from, whatever fight you have in your puku is going to determine whether you will be a champion or not. I say this because all waka entered their turn at the same time. What do they say? It's not the dog in the fight, but the fight in the dog. The lane. Three, four, five. Manutuke High School, four. Wellington High School, five. Pukekohe High School. Who wants it the most? Who is in the game mentally? Not only physically, but mentally. Can you hold off your competitors for another 125 metres? Or are you sucking in the kumara? Kai te kite ko te aratua rima tērā kei mua, engari kai te, kai te haramai te aratua whā, a e roa ana tā rātou hoi, kai te kite i te kaha i roto i te hoi. Uh, he oi anō, kai reira hoki a te aratua toru e, e whawhai ana mo te he mō tonu atu. Lei number five, Pukekohe High School. Oh. Lei number four, Wellington High School in the Yellow Waka. Outside of them, Pukekoe High School. Inside of them, Manutuke High School. Wellington High School, lane number four, champions for the Tetangere Division. Despite them getting a bit crooked at the end there. Those are some of the compromises you have to do as a steersman. Should I just straighten my waka up? That'll require me to stop paddling. Or do I keep paddling and just hope that my strength will assist my team and getting the waka across the line. Those are some of the mental battles as a steersman you have to consider. Ki te wiki tōria te tahi tīma i roto i ngā hurihanga nō te tīma katoa te honore. Ki te hinga ka amu amu tia te kai urungi. Ko e rā e tahi tō ngā āhutanga kino o tēnei hākina kina. Thank you.